And here we go again. Right. <laughs> I need to start reading forums. <laughs> Thread on all about e cigarettes. Cracking forum. Um, good bloke on there. Uh, I think it's Mac a fan. Mac a fan. Uh, Organises or sorts out the co-ops and stuff like that. A uh, really nice guy. Uh, and I had a thread going there like build your own Todoid. Uh, and he posted up and got on about the uh, oh why not use the T3? And I'm sitting reading it now and uh, it's just saying you know refilling it could be an issue if you use a T3 because it's filled like other clearos. You know it's not it's it's filled from the bottom. But he's on to something I think. So I'm sitting here looking at this T3, which I'm supposed to be giving away at the weekend. Uh, so if I break this and whoever wins it, I'll chuck in something else to make up for this. Now, the thing about T3 is spot on. It's perfect. I mean, if I unscrew the bottom here, you know, if you built the wick, you know, you rebuild it. I've done a rebuild a T3 video and just have the wicks coming up fill down here with wadding and, you know just fill you know and then you drip it full from here it would work great it really would uh, it would be great if you could pull the top off but it's I don't know how it's fixed in now part of me really really wants to try and break this off but If I do that, I'm going to bug it up a perfectly good. So I'm thinking, why not just take the filler material and just pad it down? Uh, you know, just pull little strips off and pad it down. Surely it's going to work the same. I mean, all I would have to do, I mean, my thinking is uh, to do this. You know. Get my wadding, uh, my filler, poke it in, poke it all the way down and so until I get it up until it's level with the top here. Then just have my wicks coming out like that and then it would touch and then you've got a constant feed. I don't know what... The It, it kind of makes sense, but I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure what the benefit's going to be, because it's, by its very nature, this holds X amount, you know, it holds, oh Christ, I've forgotten, what, about 3 ml of liquid, it holds 3 ml of liquid anyway, so what's the benefit of stuffing it full of warden? There isn't any really that I can think of. Is there? Or am I missing something here? Or am I just going to do this for the hell of doing it? Uh, is it going to give me any better a, a vape? Uh, or is it a backward step? I mean, the, doing it with uh, the Phoenix or the A7 or the A9 or whatever it's called. Uh, I could see the benefit of that because it was holding more liquid rather than being a rebuildable atomizer. But this, you know, holds the liquid. Ah, to hell with it. Uh, let's 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 break something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man, this is just. Uh, you know when you're setting out to do something and you know you really shouldn't, but... No, that's not going to move it out. I was thinking that battering up the tube... Right, I'm going to fill it full of wadding anyway. Be back. Right back. Another thought. It's all fine and well stuffing the wadding in there, but how the hell are you going to get it out in one piece? You're going to need something to get in there. So my thinking is now, rather than trying to force this off, I'm going to slowly heat it up. Just 
over a just beside a whatever's heating my legs up here because this has just got to be glued in, in place or press fitted in place it's, it's not going to be it's not bolted in place uh, so I'll try heating this up slowly and then try wiggling the top off we'll see how we got on with that <laughs> the mad scientist strikes again seriously all I did was I took my uh, little blowtorch and I held it I mean a, a good distance away and I just heated up that metal that or metal plastic whatever ring you want to call it and uh, and sure enough it softened up the glue that held it in place and with a couple of wiggles it just pulled out so what I want to do is I want to clean that glue off and hopefully cleaning this glue off I can get it to a point where maybe just trimming it off the edges off a wee bit I can get it to a point where I can push fit you know it, it's held in just by a push fit it's not glued in so I can pull it in and out well at least that is the plan which way did it go again so I'm just cleaning the glue out of the I'm so, I, I, do you know it's half past nine at night and uh, I've just helped uh, the boss, the good lady, put away the shopping. And I said I was coming out here just for a quick fart about. And look at me. Ah, oh, look at that. Pushes in. Pulls out. There's still a little bit. Still push that in tight enough so that that would be. Oh, this is this is. <laughs> right. Uh, what I need now is a bit of filler, and going to need a uh, bit that wet. Pull that off. I hate working with this stuff. It's just a pain but uh, we'll see how we get on take that much this might be a bit too much here but as usual I'm winging it I mean exact do you know this is just the exact same process as the spheroid I mean, there's there's no difference at all here, which is kind of scary. And as usual, I'm putting too much in. Pull a bit of that off. If you see, there's a, uh, I think it's Fuller. The company's called. I used to know it off by heart when I had the fish tank. Uh, they do foam pads, which are spot on for this kind of stuff. Uh, excuse me while I just poke this in here it's not very tidy or professional but uh, I'm, I'm kind of living it on borrowed time here Uh, see that's the kind of thing I'm going for going for this kind of affair here right what I'm going to do and I don't like doing this normally but I'm going to do it because I don't want to bore you to death I'm going to tidy this up and get it done properly and uh, I'll be right back okay that 
apart from a bit of trimming around the top to get the fibres out, is that. So there we go. And just remember that now that we've got the top cap sorted out, when you want to change the filler, we just pull that off. No problem at all. And there is a, a lip. Well, it's actually padded out. It, it's not going anywhere. This It's not going to drop down. So I wouldn't worry about that. So now all we've got to do is build this up, the head, and we want the wicks to come up and touch the filler material. Now, uh, I, I'm not going to do that on film. You've all seen that, or there's a video there that you can go and watch. that will teach you how to do it. But uh, I'm going to sit here. Oh, God. I'm, I'm for it. I really am. I'm going to sit here and do that, and then I'll record it uh, once I've built the head up. Okay? Cheers. Done it. Right, there we go. That's a two-ohm head that I've just built there. Uh, I've got twin wick coming up. Now, what I could do with knowing is how far do I have to take them up? Not far, really. I can pretty much judge, you know, you can see yourself, it's pretty straightforward how far you're going to have to cut there. Just line it up to where it would tighten down to. And then you can see yourself. Uh, so, I'll cut that myself there. Of course, this is all guesstimating it. Um, I don't really have a clue what I'm doing here. I'm just guessing. Uh, but, but that's what I'm left with, if you like. And let's see what that looks like. Might be a bit on the long side. Sure that wick's going down there straight. Yes, <laughs> it's not pretty, but uh, there you go. You can see the wicks actually touching the fibre there. So, right. Let's fill it up and see what happens here. I'll not bore you with that bit. <laughs> right. What I found was that uh, I trimmed the wicks so they just came above the point where the, the f you know, just, you know, there's a wee plastic grommet that slides over the top of the long tube on top of the head. Well, I've cut the wicks just above there because, you know, that is then level with uh, where the filler material is. I've filled it with some liquid. Uh, I think I've packed this too tightly, which is a common problem that I always have with uh, these type of devices, is uh, overpacking. If you overpack your filler material, then you can suffer from uh, dry hits, things like that. You know, you won't get a lot. It doesn't feed too well. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. As you can see, it's got a lot of dry bits in it because I've not really spent a lot of time f filling it well. Uh, but the liquid is in there. I'm just doing this. I really am on borrowed time here. Uh, so, let's find a mod to put it into. Yes. Uh, Sorry about this. Uh, I'm just trying to find something to pop this onto that's got a charge in it. Uh, 
Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> ah, it's just insane. Okay, so there we go. We now have a vaping kangaoid. It's a kangaoid. Uh, that really was a doddle to do. Uh, <laughs> vaping really well. Uh, as I said, <laughs> I'm not sure what the benefits of doing this are. I really am not uh, I'm not sure if this was just a pointless exercise. But all I did was I heated up this metal band at the top, okay? Very carefully and very slowly. And then got a cloth, held it there and wiggled the black mouthpiece and it came out. Cleaned the glue off, wrapped the wadding around the post, rebuilt the head uh, so it was double wick coming up and just above the, the plastic grommet so that it's touching the filler material and essentially you have got a spheroid clone. Uh, no, no, forget the clone bit, forget the clone bit. I never said that. Uh, so Uh, just to check, <laughs> okay, uh, five pound, that's how much it costs for a Kanga, roughly five pound, so you've now got a, a Kangaoid for a fiver. <laughs> That's vaping rather well. If you're bored and you've nothing to do, then build yourself a kangaroid uh, and uh, use the correct tools. Uh, I apologise to your other half for any time that I take up. That was my mobile just going, and that would be my missus saying, get your arse in here now. Uh, guys, as always, thanks for listening, and take this in the way it was intended. It's a bit of fun, okay? Uh, and uh, we'll speak to you later. Cheers now. Bye.